Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so replace seemingly boring questions with really more interesting ones or replace interesting questions with even more interesting ones. And they're all fundamental to what happens everywhere. Yeah. In, in this case, the, in, in terms of events, it, it sort of takes a wide range. It can go from, you know, events that are the, the tiny quantum mechanical ones to the creation of a universe. The art particle itself also does not know, so to speak. So this is an objective uh, non-existence of a feature of reality. And that is new in, in quantum physics. That does not, not exist in what we call classical physics, the physics before quantum physics. It is also not true in relativity theory, by the way. There we also have a well-defined space, well-defined time, well-defined locations, and this kind of, of object. This is one thing. The second point is that we, in our everyday view of the world, or in classical uh, thinking, we always believe that for whatever happens, there is a cause. There is an individual cause for individual events. Like when a stone hits me on the head, I know somebody has thrown it at me, or something like that. Now, in quantum physics, we have learned that this uh, causal structure, as we call it, uh, exists on the level of large ensembles, but not always in the case of individual events. Like for a radioactive atom, it is defined how many atoms will decay within, say, the next minutes, but it is absolutely undefined and there is no causal explanation why a specific atom decays now. So this is another interesting uh, message from quantum mechanics, is the limit of, 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 uh, uh, of caus causality in very specific situations. But I should say that many public presentations or discussions make the mistake that they abandon these ideas in general. This is not true. One has to be very cautious when, when this happens. The third point which, is, which I would like to convey is that we can have a situation where two uh, systems separated by a large distance are connected in a, in a very new way. This is called uh, entanglement, intrication in, in French. It simply means that if I have two particles which collide, interact with each other, and they fly apart, if you just imagine like billiard balls, two billiard balls fly opposite, uh, two quantum billiard balls will also fly opposite, but it would be undefined in which direction they fly. They fly in all these directions at the same time. But when I make one measurement, I observe uh, this uh, particle, for example, here, and then the other one, at that moment, uh, changes its state from being uh, possibly everywhere, only being at this place. And it is wrong to assume that I just reveal uh, where they were before, and I did not just know it, no. The particles themselves also did not know. There was no well-defined feature. So to me, these are the general uh, uh, properties of quantum mechanics. Uh, in, in a more technical language, this is related to superposition, to the, to, the, to the fact superposition means that the various possibilities are superposed in, in, a, in a new kind of way this description, which we call the, the quantum state, superposition of the quantum state is, is the general feature in that uh, situation. And I should also mention that uh, in my personal conviction, uh, these phenomena are not limited to small systems. So far they are, but this in my eyes is, is a technical issue. And I hope that future bright young people will have the possibility to observe. You see, at the moment, you will be surprised to hear, even the physics department, theoretical physics is struggling dramatically. 
since the discovery of quantum, you know, I reached for five minutes to go around every unit and say, do you know what's quantum? They said, no idea, don't, don't ask, we do the mathematics, we don't know what the heck we have discovered. It's still the same. That question has not gone away. What have you discovered when you try and get, if you like, fabric of reality? When you try and take a pinch of reality, what are you finding? You're suddenly finding that matter disappears, it fizzles down. It becomes a whale, wee probability whale. And it's no physical thing. The physical thing, says Erwin Schrodinger, is an appearance. Appearance. This is a dramatic thing coming out of central, of central in physics. The most important aspect of modern physics is quantum. It is telling in no uncertain numbers. You discover through your integrity of physics itself, you discover something dramatic, if you like, at the heart of reality. And we can only say it is non-material. It is something dramatically different from matter, which appears as matter. We don't know why it does it. We have no clue. But it's not the material underpinning reality is not matter, non-material. This is quantum. This, this is terrible now. What do we, where do we go? There's no vocabulary. And they asked me, Lakhani, I said, I said, the only vocabulary is, is spirit, spirit. And then, of course, the physicists won't let me, this Mr. Lakhani, the only spirit we believe in comes in bottles at Christmas time. Mm. So keep your spirit out of physics. It's an ongoing story. And I enjoy taking, I did a talk at Physics Society, Oxford University, deliberately rubbing it in. Because, you see, they are struggling. And the only way they can get away from this quantum phenomena, this is why I'm saying physics is in a serious problem. And as you are, and some of you are physicists, you'll know how they try and get away from this quantum phenomena. You know, this issue of this Schrodinger's cat, half dead, half alive. What the heck is happening at the micro level and macro level? This is what they are trying to get away. They are saying, while I'm talking to you, go along with this, see how, you, how much you can, you know, live with it. While I'm talking to you, infinite copies of ourselves, with everyone with the same buttons and everything, has been moving away from each other with slight variation, one electron jumping differently. And this is how the world is making infinite copies of, self, of itself at every, not even every second, every infinitesimal moment of time. This is infinity squared. Now, if you are prepared to believe that while I am talking, all these copies are going away with slight variation, then I think you are really thrown in the towel. There is not convergence, it is divergence with a vengeance. And this is where physics is struggling. And where do you think is the resolution? See, I told you, spirit, Brahman, if they are able to incorporate this, incorporate the idea of something deeper underneath this reality, which is non-material, and give it its true status, status, then physics will progress. Otherwise, they will, they will languish in this like of eleven-dimension space-time with super strings dancing, or this idea of infinite universes all the time. So, modern physics, I'm telling you. Like um, next many, night, many things, but, but very involved in what they're doing, very busy people. Um, some of them are shy. A lot of, uh, some people do experiments, but other people are pure mathematicians. And um, I think that, that makes it harder to explain what, what they're doing. Um, and at the same time, every day when I walk in here, the whiteboards are full of diagrams and they've been cleaned up. I'm, I feel bad about that, but there's diagrams and there's equations and every time anybody's tried to talk to me about anything, the first thing they do is grab a marker and head to the whiteboard and I watch students and researchers sitting there drawing and talking to each other and that, that's exactly what artists do. Um, and artists also generate their own projects in the same kind of way and we follow it in the same kind of way for the love of doing it more than anything else. Um, and I think that there are a lot of commonalities. The most absurd the most crazy, the most ridiculous prediction that quantum mechanics makes is entanglement. It is impossible to even comprehend. Don't even ask me why. Don't ask me if you're going to how it works. Because it's an illegal question. 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 Because it's an illegal question.
password. What? Help. Open this door! Not even close. You have three seconds. One. Two. Three. 